Augustus, is this what the president of the Human Appreciation Society A Rubik's Cube. human artifacts? A Rubik's because at my Cube. old school, in my club, we didn't have any dumb rules. <gasps> he didn't mean that. That is so me if someone ever says hey, stuff about rules. Liz, you got this. I brought in an expert. Yeah, right. Who can you find that's a bigger human expert than any of us? How about... A real human! What are the secrets? Show, don't tell, man. Yeah, uh-huh. And you've never brought your friend here. Why? Well, well she kind of got, busy. like, She's in little trouble. But I'll bring her in tomorrow. She'll prove I'm right. <laughs> uh, sure you will, Augustus. Sure you will. And, so, and the ship was born. Well, actually, not yet. It was later in an episode. I can't remember when, but it was later in an episode when the ship was born. But, uh... Bump did you a favor. There ain't nothing for you at that Dweebus factory. No offense, Dweebus. It's okay. Dweebus? I come from a long line of Dweebuses. <gasps> Same! Well, I would love to go someday. Better than unpacking boxes in the Eda coven. Oh, you think you're clever, huh? Oh! Fight, fight, fight! Cat King. First off, it's the bad girl coven. And second off, I okay. see no one. So got this to keep her undercover. Undercover from what? <laughs> Behold, you're she can't breathe. Whoa, she can't breathe. Okay. You bring the razzle. I'll bring the dazzle. Oh. Do you always have confetti on you or? Yes. It's actually, actually, That's for half a I'm month, I did always have confetti on me, but I got, I got in trouble for making a mess and not cleaning it up. So, yeah. So instead, I started having emergency pom-poms on me for pom-pom emergencies. I have them right up here, actually, above where I'm watching this. Does she need to draw her own conclusions? My beef is insects! They're what I eat! You're just gonna be unhelpful, huh? Oh, I know is! You taught me, and I turned out just fine! I gotta get that girl into school. <laughs> Trouble. Uh. Ta -da! A human. Not just any human, an expert human. Yeah, I've been doing this for years. She's gonna authenticate your treasures. Ha <laughs> ha! See you at the meeting. Oh, no, 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 no. They can't know I lied. And they'll never make me president. Why do you care about being president? And why did that just <laughs> conveniently land at your feet? Yes, I have you now. You really do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Before. I want to... <laughs> I want to enroll my human loose. I'm having such an exchange student. Huh. But before I even consider that, there's a lot to be answered for. All right, yeah, I heard all about that abomination incident. Oh, I'm not talking about loose. I'm talking about the necrotic experiments, the graffiti, the scams, the cheating, Miss Jenkinmeyer's teeth. <laughs> Jeez. I thought I'd be higher. Huh? I thought there'd be more. Same. Ooh, what's in here? The plant homeroom. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that gives me uh flora vibes from Winx. Hi. <laughs> Just judging. Ow. It, it was buying us. This. To clean up all the hexed graffiti you left us. Good luck. Hoot, hoot, eat a rules bump stink. Oh! Mother, no! Uh, like, I'd actually apologize. Oh what my god. Did you do? Oh, uh, boo hoo. I'm sorry. <laughs> the eyes. I want friends. <laughs> No, I want power and I want drama. <laughs> I want those right now. So what are you gonna do, Mr. President? <laughs> Executive oh. action. Oh. Haha. Wow. -ha. But I didn't pull the alarm. It was Augustus. 
Justice. Are you even listening to me? I demand justice! <laughs> I know I know the song is voice from somewhere. Like I've heard it somewhere else or something else. Get me out of here! Hey, you got drama. No, like this. Just as bad as loose. She'd love it here. <sighs> All right. What's He's next? Not melting my heart. Plenty of times. Dude, it's shut hard up. To believe you're kind of a jerk. Well, down in detention, this jerk is king. So if you want to get out, you better do exactly what I say. First, before anything else, we gotta. Oh! oh. Uh, already? Already? <laughs> Being older than everyone is hard. Because everyone knows that you got help back because you're dumb. No, troll left behind. It's late. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Oh, heck, does he post this in time to show the time? So as of now, I'm removing you from the Human Appreciation Society. Does that make me president? Impressive. Still alive. Still alive? Yes. Aw. Is it weird that I'm not wearing anything hexide? Um, it's weirder that you're wearing Glandis colors. Get ready to be creamed, Glandis nerd! Hey, I'm a hexide nerd! Gotta check out <laughs> sure. Where can I get a hexide one? I know, there's a lost and found box in the cafeteria. Oh, ew, lost ew. And found, where mouth guards go to retire. Yeah, exactly. Ew. Ew, no. <laughs> How did you get a whole outfit? Honestly, nothing about this episode caught my attention, so reaction wise, we're gonna skip ahead. You were once a palisman, weren't you? Yes, I was once part of a grand staff. A what? staff made for a giant, but I was broken, discarded. So that's why you're so protective of Albert. I protect. <gasps> oh! I made home in forest. I'm here oh, to and they all have like cracks and the forgotten. I understand, but Albert is not forgotten. It's a book fair. <laughs> fair without rides? Who needs rides when this can take you anywhere? Ah! <gasps> Why? A writing competition. I've always wanted to be a writer. Writer? What? I thought you wanted to be a witch. They both start with I'm W. A witch, but where I'm from, that's kind of impossible. So my runner-up dream was to be a writer. That's I cool. <laughs> what are these basement dwellers doing out in natural sunlight? <laughs> We're in line for John DePlume, most famous writer on the Boiling Isles, famed author of the Will Warrior series. Uh, yeah, that is something that I would personally leave the dead nice my room for. This is excellent. A map to the bloom of eternal youth. I think the Emperor will be very pleased. Ma'am, shouldn't we be searching for the Owl Lady to join the Coven? Remember that whole plan? My sister's curse has left her frail. She'll still be here when we get back. Mm. Huh. This comes first. It's for the Emperor after all. Yeah! All hail the Emperor! I'm calling it now. Ia's gonna follow E. I'm mean, Ia's gonna follow her sister. I think a little romantic tension could help the scene. Hey, there's more to life than shipping. Oh! <gasps> dare insult shipping in my presence. Same! Literally. I'll be back. We'll figure this out. Okay, writing buddy? My turn to write. Wait. 
Okay, so the, is, wait, if Lucius is doing it all on her own, then that's kind of her fault if King decides to, like, try to take over some of the story. What does she know? What the heck, man? Learn to collaborate. Hush, you! I'll prove to both of you my story is I mean, not everyone is meant to collaborate. Like, I personally, as a person, I mean, I consider myself very good with collaborating. Not unless it's very clear what my role is. Like, oh, you're just the editor, or something like that. Seriously? Seriously? You would be here just to be a nuisance. Why don't you go home and rest? Wouldn't want you breaking a hip. Oh. Sorry, sister. I'm stronger than you think. I'm here to save the blue. And then it's like, oh, I'm turned my back. Uh. I'm gonna get there before you. Ah, no, you won't. <laughs> this is truly awful. Looking forward to the real draft. Truly awful? But I'm a best-selling writer. How? You had loot. Yeah. Loose. I can't write without her. You can't oh, write, period. Funny. I'm so glad you could make it. Hey, King. I didn't want to be angry at your success. You're my friend. And she's trying to be a good person, and you're about to say, hey, can I write and take credit again? Huh? Alright, back off. That baby's. Why are you. The way that works. Because, Lilith, you think I'm just some tired old biddy. Ah, uh, but I'm more than that. And with the bloom of eternal youth's power, I'll show you. <gasps> what the? <laughs> you got conned. Calling it, you got conned. <sighs> they got his good angle. Uh, can I help you? Perhaps I hear you're an aspiring <sighs> writer. Well, whoever plays this guy was a good choice because it's gonna be a I can't wait for the sequel. If it's disappointing in any way, I will spend every day of my life trashing it. That is oh, basically boy. what happens, oh, though. Yeah, it frustrates geez. me that there's people oh, like heaven. that. King. Oh, it's like Star vs. Evil. Shrinking box? It really is like Star. You gotta get me out. What are you doing? Lucy and Star should be friends. I wanna see you those two meet. Reach together. So if you don't want her crushed, you'll write together again. Oh, don't give me that look. Some of the best books were written in literal crunch time. That's a toxic mentality that contributes to burnout and unrealistic expectations. King, do so. I have my story. But it's all hugging and crying. I can't put my name on that. King, that is why we are in here. Because you can't compromise. All I wanted was to write a dumb story with my friend. I mean, Lou's Lucy, like, we're living your dream. It didn't seem like you were compromising either. is as close as I'll ever get to my dream. It all went to my head. And I okay, but Lou's like... I don't know, like, well, okay, so when she walked away from the tie frame, right, she's like, okay, my turn to write. And literally, it sounded like she wrote most of the story, then he made edits. So, frankly, I'm not quite sure if Luz was compromising either. King, I am your biggest fan. <clears throat> and I fought my way back here for you to weave my story. I'm sorry, my lawyer advised me not to look at unsolicited work. But, but... Ugh. If I read this, will you go so I can annihilate them in peace? Of course! <laughs> Let me guys, this is a masterpiece. You're old news. She, on the other hand, 
is the future. Freedom! Hey! King? We're good then? Yes, quite.